this video, we will see a problem on projection of lines. For that, here is the question. A line AB having length 50 mm has its point A 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. The line is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of 45 degree to HP. Draw the projections of the line. So here I'll write the data first. Line AB having length 50 mm, so that will be called as the true length of the line. True length is 50. Next, has its point A 10 mm above HP. Ten mm above HP and twenty mm in front of VP. The line is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of forty five degree to HP. Inclination with HP, it is denoted as theta. Then draw the projections of the line. So we have to find the projections. Now the solution will be So now, here the question whatever was given, I had drawn it into a 3D form so that we can understand how the line is made inclined and what are the conditions given here. In the question it is mentioned that line AB having length 50 mm has its point A 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So if it is 10 mm above HP, 20 mm in front of VP. It means that the line is in the first quadrant. Next, 10 mm above HP. Here I have denoted point A. This is the actual line capital AB having point A 10 mm above HP. Now that 10 mm above HP will be visible in VP. 20 mm in front of VP will be visible in HP as we see here. Then when I am looking as an observer from this direction, it will give me the front view of the line which is A dash B dash having true length 50 mm and that line is inclined to horizontal plane that is HP at an angle of theta and here theta is 45 degree so this will be the front view for the line and here front view is visible in VP then when I am looking from top as an observer the same line AB will be seen as a horizontal line AB in the top view now this will become the apparent length of the line so it means I have to draw the front view in VP and top view should be in HP so whatever the conditions I have explained here Based on that, here I am going to draw the solution to this problem. So let us get started. So here, first I am going to mark 0.8 mm above HP 20 mm in front of VP. For that, Here is XY line, then VP and HP. Now 10 mm above HP, as we see here, for point A, 
that distance will be visible in the front view. So I am drawing a light vertical line over that I am marking 10 mm Ten mm above HP. That point is a dash. Next, twenty mm in front of VP will be visible in the top view. So, measuring twenty mm from XY line. Here, I get point A. Then. The line is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of 45 degree to HP. So when we see this line here, it is being made inclined. Here it is inclined with HP and as we can see here, the line is parallel to VP. So inclination with HP will be visible in VP. That is the line will appear inclined in the front view. So I am measuring 45 degree here. Then the length of the line is 50 mm. So I'll measure 50 mm here. Keeping it on a dash, I'll cut this line. So here this point is B dash. Then I'll project B dash up to this horizontal line. So here I get point B. So here this angle is theta is equal to 45 degree. So this will be the front view of the line and here is the top view. I'll make it dark. In the front view, I'm getting the true length of the line as I can see here that is 50 mm. So I'll write down this is TL is equal to 50 and in the top view I am getting the apparent length because this line is inclined so when looking from top it appears as a straight horizontal line so this is not the true length so that will be called as PL which is the plan length These distances are 10 and 20, 10 mm above HP, 20 mm in front of VP. That is from XY line. And these are the projections of the line. That is, this is the front view and here the top view. And with this, the problem gets completed.